Good evening. What up, guys? Jason Guyman here with PressureWashHelp.com, king of pressure washing. And I'm, you know, this what I'm going to talk about. Don't just go for pressure washing. This can go for any service business, any business for all of that fact. And so um, I'm going to hit on. Uh, I got five things I'm going to hit on of how to make six figures with a simple system. And then I'm going to kind of go through the system. I'm going to kind of walk, you know, from getting the phone call all the way to the end of there. And if you have questions along the way, ask away. I don't know if I'll get to them right away, but we will get to them eventually. We got Mr. Dark Horse in the house. I haven't seen you in a while, man. Um, we close for the season today. We'll be back in March now off to Disney World. High five. That's awesome. Taking the family to Disney World. Boo boo. We're getting ready to um, hit Halloween here for sure. Big town. Mr. George Yost is in the house. How you doing? Um, hope you're having a great evening. Um, I hope we dive into roof cleaning here. Um, I can talk about roof cleaning. Let me get through what I want to get through. So you'll have to stick around. Um, ask those questions later on. I wouldn't ask them right now because of, I might not get back up that far. And uh, we got Pink Robin in the house. Um, hey, Pink, how you doing? And so, you know, I want to hit on some things that that don't just go in the norm of what we think here. Can I pump water from a lake to use in my pressure washer? Um, it is best if you filter it out, but yes, you can do that. Um, I got a freaking spider that I'm going to go bye-bye. I don't like spiders. so. Um, but yes, you can do that. You do need to make sure that you're filtering it out, all of that good stuff. We got Brian in the house. Brian Fletcher, he's one of my youngest um, pressure washers I probably got. That would be the opposite. <laughs> I like giving Brian a hard time. Hope he's getting out there getting those Christmas lights. Need some olic acid recipes. Yeah, we got to be careful when we're doing that kind of stuff. We got Dan. He's getting ready to kill it in Christmas lights up in the Cleveland area. Um, so that is awesome. He's growing his business, and that is amazing. Him and his wife, i seen pictures, are doing awesome. And so I love when we can have it as a family business. That is always a good thing. And when we can work together and we can use our talents together and use our expertise, if especially, you know, if one's better at something than another, and then we can really make things happen. So that is awesome. Um, hello, SH, we're back. <coughs> um, so, all right. So let's, uh, we got uh, Wild Wild West. Mr. Charles is in the house um, from Texas. We got Chicago Land up there. Um, I'm the oldest. I don't know if you're the oldest or not there, Beth. Um, oh, uh, oh, Brian Fletcher might uh, beat you there. Um, he's in his 60s, um, and it ain't, it's kind of getting toward those middle 60s, so, um, he's up there pretty well. We got Mr. Young, H2O Improvement, what up? Um, killing it. How's your Christmas light business going? Um, Mr. Gene, Superior Window Cleaning in San Diego. I'm sure you all have beautiful weather, because you always have beautiful weather. It only rains like two or three times a year there, they tell me. And the time that I was there, it rained for like two days. And so um, I do have a conference that I want to go to out in San Diego. It's the, um, um, shoot, I can't think of a name of it now. Um, social, uh, social uh, Media Marketing World. I want to go. I was looking at that. Um, we got um, Carlos from Illinois. He's in the cold area right now. Um, so let's get started here. Um, we got Jason Huffner from Florida. Just hit 115 reviews, which is awesome. I love hearing that kind of stuff. Um, I didn't know you do these. I've been watching you for a bit. Thank you for what you do. Yep, I do them every Sunday night and Thursday night. And then I do another one on my Christmas light channel. You can look up Christmas lights help and that should bring up my Christmas light channel. And I do one there on Monday night. Um, so that is my Christmas light channel. Um, 
So, uh, but, um, Brian said he's 61, so he's old as dirt. Um, I know that seems like a far away, but I remember when I used to think 40 was a long way away, and it's not. So, um, but it, it, it gets there before you know it. All right. So, what do we need to do to make six figures in one simple system? And so, like I say, I'm going to hit some stuff. We got Jack from Australia. Hey, mate. All the way across the pond. Um, so, I'm going to hit on these um, five things that are kind of the mindset of things that we need to do. Um, and then after I hit on that, I'm going to go and do the, um, the side of things of kind of setting the system of how we need to do and be able to get to six figures. Um, H2O said two jobs, total $3,000 so far. Um, November 1st, I'm putting out 50 signs. Awesome. And that's for Christmas sites. All right. So this is, and, and some of these are things that um, I was actually, we do a Zoom call every other Monday night. I do with my members. Um, and this kind of came up in that Zoom call. And this is, you have to be confident. You have to be confident in yourself. You on the other side of here can do it and you have to be confident that you can do it. You know, a lot of times us growing up or, you know, you, 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 you've been told that you suck. You, you've been told that you're not good enough. Um, you've had teachers say that you're not good enough. You've had, um, you, you've had, um, different influencers in your life. It, may, it might be your parents. It could be your grandparents. It could be people around you. It can be your friends. And they say you're not good enough. And that's baloney because you are good enough to do it. There is nothing out there special that makes people special that they can do it more than the other. And so you can do it. And so you do have to build confidence to be able to say that, hey, I can do this. Now, I know it's not going to take overnight and it's just going to be like this Piff, Mary, this fairy dust that all of a sudden you're going to start believing in yourself. But it's going to take baby steps. And when we take the baby steps we need to do, this can help us grow our business. You know, like I always say, you know, I hate negative people. And if we are around negative people, this is one thing that will hold you back more than anything. Negative people are the worst people to be around. And don't be a negative people. You know, I said this before. Don't be a sucky person. Don't be that negative negative person. Because negative people um, just are always negative. And no matter what you do, no matter how well you do, you're always going to be negative. So, you know, always try to have that positive mentality. Always try to push for that positive. Go for that positive. And this is how we can grow our business. You know, there's nothing special that made me get to a million that you can't get to six figures or a million. So, you know, there's things out there that you have to do to be able to grow your business. And one is, is be confident in it. When we're on the phone, we're very confident. We're not like, um, can you do this? Yes, we can help you with that. We're not like, well, I don't know. I, I. No, be confident in what you do. If you have to practice your elevator speech over and over and over and you videotaping yourself on that there and that way you become better at it. And when you get that um, elevator speech done, then you will be confident in. And then the next thing is number two is you need to believe in your ability you have to believe it yourself that you can do it. Because if you don't believe it, I'm not going to believe it in you. So you have to believe that you can do this. You know, I can lay out all the YouTube videos and I can lay out my, my group and I can lay it step by step from you. But if you don't believe that you have the ability to do it, it's not going to be any good for you. So you have to believe in the ability that you can do this. It's not rocket science, guys. You know, it's like when I do my Christmas light training, and I, I just did it the other day. We had um, DJ's um, steps or son-in-law, not here, but boyfriend, whatever, son-in-law. He'd been around for a long time. You know, he is... You know, he's been around a long time and I was teaching him how to do Christmas lights. And the very first thing I said is, it's not rocket science. It's pretty easy. 
you know, it's just all the little steps you have to do. But once we figure out all those little steps, it's pretty easy. Christmas lights is easy. Pressure washing is easy. There's no rocket science. I've taught many 18, 19 year olds how to pressure wash. And they ran a truck and made me, um, you know, twenty five, two thousand, twenty five hundred dollars a day on that truck. And so there's nothing special about this stuff. It's just about how do you grow your business. And so you have to be believe in the ability that you can do that. Number three, you need to know what you want to make it happen for yourself. Set goals for yourself because if you don't, and, and this is something that Jason struggles with. Jason struggles with what do I, what does the end result look like? What's my end goal? You know, because as of right now, I have literally, me and my wife before, um, about five years ago, we sat down and we wrote lists of what we wanted and we blew that list out of the water, you know, and so. That's why we set goals, guys. That's why we set goals because you will blow them out of the water. And, you know, I do struggle. I don't know what I want. You know, you can make all the money in the world and that's not going to make you happy. And you can do, and yes, money does make things easier, but it's not going to make you happy. And so, you know, that's kind of, I actually had a mentor tell me last year of, Jason, you know, what do you want to do? I want, I want to make this much. No, I don't want a, I don't want a monetary goal. What do you want to do? And at the time, I didn't know what I want to do. You know, and as time come around, I've been like, you know, I've been really into kind of liking the public speaking. It isn't to say, hey, how great I am. I like speaking to people. I like helping other people. I like helping people get to the next level. I love to hear success stories like H2O hitting $138,000 his very first year, going from a forklift driver to do on $138,000, going from a garbage man, Jeremy Main, going from a garbage man making $40,000, $50,000 to doing over $200,000 in year two. That's my goal is to hear those awesome, amazing success stories that I've played a role in and helped them get to where they want to go at. That's what I love to do. I love seeing people be successful. I like action takers. And again, you have to be an action taker. If you don't take action, it don't matter what I sit here and talk to you about. It don't matter what anybody on YouTube sits here and talk about. It's about taking action and going to the next level. Again, we had a, a, a lady on my Zoom call earlier, and you know she was like, well, I want my website perfect, and I want everything perfect. Well, I'm going to tell you something. It's never going to be perfect. I don't care what you do. It's never going to be perfect. You know, if I didn't make a YouTube video until it was perfect, I still wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't even be here right now. Because when I look back at my first YouTubes, I cringe hard. And even last year when I thought I was doing good, I cringe hard. Because... It's never going to be perfect. I don't care what you do. You can try as much as you want, and it's never going to be perfect. So, again, we have to take action, and when we take action, things happen. We set goals, take action for those goals. We break those goals down into smaller goals, and retainable goals, and things can happen amazing things can happen. And then the next one is, is you got to believe that you can do anything, even if you don't think so right now. This is where I struggle. Believe in the unbelievable, the big picture. You know, just because you don't believe it right now, doesn't mean you got to keep believing in that goal up there. That's why we got to write BHAG goals, big, hairy, audacious goals. Write what you want. Write what you want at the end of your life. You know, what do you want in 20 years? Are you just wanting to, you know, keep working your nine to five, making 40, 50, 60, 100,000, and that's all you want to do the rest of your life? Or do you want to dream big and make things happen? It takes teamwork to make the dream work. And that's true. And so, you know, these are some things that you have to do to make things happen, guys. It's not about making six figures, because even if you make six figures, it's not going to make you happy. 
it might it helps don't get me wrong but if you're an unhappy person it's not going to make you happy money does not make you happy i know millionaires that are miserable that are miserable money doesn't make you happy does it make life easy a hundred percent yes it will but does it make you happy absolutely not so make sure that you believe that you can do anything. And when you believe that, you will be shocked. I never forget when this has been a couple months ago and I had a guy who started in the membership and he's like, Jason, you know what? I wrote down all my goals and can you believe I hit them within six months? He's like, I never would have thought I could have hit them in five years, but I hit them in six months. You, When you write things down, and you tell somebody, amazing things can happen. They literally can happen by you writing them down and making things happen. It's amazing what happens when you do this. When you do this, it can be really good for you. Now, if you don't do it, then it's going to be hard because you don't even know what you want. You don't know what you want. More money, more problems without goals. It's 100%. You know, it's 100% this right here. So, you know, this is, you know, when you make more money, you come into tax issues and you come into all of this and um, all of that. And so um, that's what we have to do. Lawn Commander. I'm going to jump off here because I got one more. But you see me at GIE and you didn't even come up to speak to me? Come on, man. <laughs> But, um, again, make sure that you have to do this. Yeah, man, you've gotten a lot better at speaking. It can be hard to articulate your thought. It is your head. Bravo. Keep it up. You know, I love helping people. This, that is my goal. And if I would have never, you know, five years ago, and you would have said I'd be on YouTube twice a week, doing two videos, doing two lives, I'd have said you're nuts. I said there's no way in hell I'm doing that. But, you know, that's the thing about pressure washing. Pressure washing can lead us into other businesses. You know, if you start a pressure washing business and you get really good at marketing and you can help other businesses do marketing, then you can grow that business. Or maybe you're good at chemicals and you learn how to do the chemical side of things and you're a chemist on the backside and, and, you're, and you're able to sell chemicals and now you can start selling chemicals. Maybe you're good at equipment like Jimmy Hall and making the boxes or Sean and all of that kind of stuff. There's a lot of things that can help you that will, I'm not saying you got to pressure wash the rest of your life. You might be good at management. You might be good at leading teams. And when you lead a team, you could lead 25 pressure washers and grow your business and do $5 million a year. There's possibility out there that it can be done. But again, it all starts here. A lot of people think it starts everywhere else, but it starts right here. And again, I, like I said earlier, you know, a lot of times people are Debbie Downers and people... You may have been told when you were younger that you ain't going to be no good. You, you're, you didn't even finish high school or you didn't even go to college. There ain't no way you can do six figures because you didn't go to college. Well, I'm going to let you know something. I know a lot of people that's been very successful pressure washing and hasn't been to college. You know, and, and, and so it can be done. It's just a matter of time and it's a matter of you having to take action. And when you take action, things happen. And then last, we have to create a plan of action and take massive action toward your goal every day. Massive action, not little action, massive action, you know. And so that's what we have to do to make sure that we are growing our pressure washing business and we are doing the things we need to do. All right. So I wanted to hit on that because that is very important. This is are things that will grow your business. I don't care if you're a pressure washing business, if you're a service business, all of these things are the things that you need to be able to grow your business. Now, I'm going to go toward the pressure washing side and how to grow a pressure washing side. And I'm going to hit on the steps of what you need to do to make that happen. So the very first thing we need to do is, is we have to create a plan or create a plan of action of how are we going to get customers? What's going to be our P 
plan to get that phone to ring? What? How do we do to get this phone to ring so we can start making money? This right here is the hardest thing to do. And this is, there's two things. Everybody either wants to go get equipment, and yes, I'll sell you equipment. I'll sell you this rig right now, but that's not going to get you business or we got to get this phone to ring. So some things that we can do to get the phone to ring, go put out yard signs. I love my money bushes. I know somebody said this link didn't work the other day, but you know, I love my money bushes, money bushes. I was talking to Jeremy Main today on Christmas lights and the marketing or into the group this morning. And he put out signs and people are calling him. He just got a million and a half dollar house off of money bush, uh, moneybushes.com. You know, put those babies up. We're putting them up, you know, and, and whatever we're going to put up and whatever we make the plan, make sure we stick to it. You know, be like, hey, I'm going to put 25 signs out every week, no matter what, through the Christmas light season, through the pressure washing season. And I'll tell you what happens when we do this. You know, two years ago, I made a thing that I'm going to do two videos a week. So I did one live and one um, um, regular video. And I did that for a whole year. And then the next year, 2019, actually it was 2020, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do four videos. I'm going to do two lives and two videos. And I did it for a whole year. And in the beginning, I wasn't getting much. But over time, it brings more people in. And it's the same thing with pressure washing. I'm going to do 25 signs a week. I'm going to do 10 posts a week. I'm going to do 10 Facebook posts a week. I'm going to do 20 Facebook books uh, a week. I'm going to do 10 or 20 Facebook, or uh, I'm sorry, LinkedIn posts a month. I'm going to go do, um, I'm going to go find 100 new connections on LinkedIn a month. And I'm going to write this down on a goal. And then I'm going to break it down. So if I'm going to try to find 100 LinkedIn people a month, then I'm going to be like, all right, so every week I got to get 25, right? Because four times 25 is 100. So every week I'm going to go in there um, two, three times a week, and I'm going to get 10 people per week. And I'm going to um, reach out to those 10 people, and I'm going to learn about those 10 people. And then I'm going to comment on their stuff. And then when other people comment, I'm going to comment on their stuff. And and if we set a goal to that we're going to do that, no matter what, it don't matter if we are balls deep, we have work so far, we don't know what we got going on because we got so much work, we're going to post and we're going to find 25 new um, people every week. We're going to go put out those 25 signs every week. We're going to do that Facebook Live. Oh my God, I said that live word. And yes. We're going to do hard things. You can do hard things. I promise you, you can do hard things. And when you do hard things, things change. It gets easier. If you'd have told me that I would be here, I would have said, no way. No way I can do lives. Who's going to come listen to me? Who's going to come listen to Jason Rant? Well, right now I got 77 of you. Because... I want to make sure that you 79 people are going to help grow your business. I want you to get to the next level. And here's the thing, you know, to get to six figures, it's not about the equipment we buy. It's about equipment's not going to get us there. It's about marketing. It's about answering the phone. It's about having a good phone script. It's about getting our reviews. It's about, that's what grows our business. It's about adding those pictures into our Google My Business. It's about Google My Business and filling out all the pictures and we're doing the Google post and we're getting the Google reviews and we're getting the Google citations. That's what's going to grow our business. This thing up right here ain't going to grow our business. It looks pretty. It might get us there a little quicker, but it ain't going to get us no $100,000. What's going to get us to $100,000 is, is marketing. And again, setting. So Google My Business is a must. I don't care what form of way you're going to get business. You have to do your Google My Business. Your Google My Business is 100%. You have to do it. You have to get 100 photos out there. And the reason why you got to get 100 photos is there's data that tells you that if you get 100 photos, you can get 385 website visits and 85 phone calls. So put your 100 photos in there. 
and name those photos. And then the next thing we're going to do is, is after we get our photos in there, we're going to do our Google post. And we're going to post on there. And we're going to do some citations. We're going to go out and find some citations and put citations. So that way our NAP, our name, address, and phone number, is the exact same all over the country, all over the website. After that, now we're going to do Facebook. If you want to do Facebook and you don't have no money, if you have no money, you don't have to have money to get the six figures. You know, Andrew and Savannah had zero. They were living out of a camper. Living out of a camper had zero money. And they went from zero to last year they were at zero right before COVID to they are at um, this year they're going to do over $200,000. And it's been mostly Facebook, mostly all of Facebook and a couple yard signs. That's it. You know, and premium pricing. That's how we get there, guys. It's not rocket science. We are not talking rocket science stuff. We're talking, you can do it. Facebook, go live. So Savannah and Andrew actually came to my Christmas like um, class. And I, and so I got to the, the um, part of Facebook and so they so they wanted to count how many times they had posted in the last 14 days in the last 14 days on their personal page they posted 60 times and on their business page they had posted 40 times so in 14 days they had posted over a hundred a hundred 100 posts on facebook but they're going to end up doing two hundred and twenty thousand dollars this year and that's not even counting christmas lights all from Facebook and a little bit of yard signs. Free marketing. They haven't even put out the yard signs because they're too busy with the Facebook of getting business through Facebook. They're spending zero money on marketing and it's all through Facebook. So yes, you can grow your business to a big money with Facebook. Now, does it take time? Yes, to post 100 posts and doing live videos. Oh, that wasn't counting the lives. I think they had um, six or seven lives within that. So that is what we can do so that way we can grow our business and get to where we want to go at. We, when we set our goals and when we set our goals, not just monetary goals, but hey, I want to do, you know, 100 posts for, or 200 posts a, a month. All right. How many posts is that? That's three posts a week, right? Three times 30 is 30, you know, is 90. And so you're going to have to do, a, you know, three, four posts a day to do 200. But you know what? It brought a lot of money in at the end. So that's why you do it. You know, so that is what we can do. Um, and they post in the groups and they post everywhere. And they don't just post about pressure washing. They post about everything. Everything they post about. They don't just post about pressure washing. They post nice little pretty memes. They post all of that stuff. Because it's not just a, hey, I'm a pressure washer. I'm a pressure washer. I'm a pressure washer. Because that's going to get zero. That's going to get nobody. If we sit there and yell, I'm a pressure washer, I'm a pressure washer, that's going to get nobody. And it's not going to get anybody in LinkedIn either because they don't care if you're a pressure washer. You know, again, it's about networking. And that's how we can grow our business. So once we figured out how we're going to get our business, rather that's Facebook, Net, um, LinkedIn, Nextdoor, website, SEO, search engine optimization, Google My Business, um, all the this other things that we can do. The next thing is, is once the phone starts ringing, we have to answer the phone. If we don't answer the phone, don't even do your 100 posts because it doesn't matter at that point. And when we answer the phone, we're going to answer it professionally. We're not going to be like, what up? How can I help you? We're going to smile and take a deep breath before we answer the phone. Smile. Hi, this is Jason with PressureWashHelp.com. How can I help you today? We're not going to be like, hello, because that's, you know, we've done set the mode for that, for that. And that's not a good mode to sit. So that's why we're going to smile. And we're going to have a phone script. And when we read this phone script, we're going to have it memorized. And it's going to be just right off of our tongue. It's not going to be like, um, um. Um, uh, hello, uh, this is, uh, Jason from Pressure Wash Help. 
How may I? No, we're going to have it memorized. We're going to have it flowing. We're going to practice it. We're going to practice it all the time. So once we get that done and we get the phone script done, then we're going to schedule the job. We're going to send out emails. We're going to make sure that we have a system set up so that way they get their email where they can check it up. We check up and do a make sure that they are um, they got our quote. They we're doing we're texting them. We're doing all different kinds of things to make sure that they're getting their quote. And then when we get to the job and then we're gonna go to the job and do the job and we're gonna be professional and we're gonna look professional. And when we get to the door we're gonna have another elevator speech. And, you know, it's just one of those things. It must flow. If it don't flow, you sound like a reread. And I don't want you to sound that way. I want you to sound smart, you know. And I don't want you to, you know, and I understand it can be hard sometimes. And sometimes there's language barriers. And But you know what? We're going to do it over and over and practice and practice. Um, and we're going to practice our pitches. So that way it sounds like we know what we're talking about. It sounds like we're able, to, we're capable and able that we can make this happen. And so after we've done that, we're going to show up to the house. And again, we're going to talk to them at the door. And then we're going to do the house wash. And then we're going to, you know, we're going to do the little things and we're going to make things happen. And then after the house wash, we're going to talk to them again. We're going to walk them around. We're going to do all the little things that set us apart from our competitors. That way we can grow our business. And then once we do that, we're going to get our five-star reviews. And then once we get our five-star reviews, we're going to get our pictures and we're going to make sure that we're posting our pictures. Because again, when, a lot of times we think, woohoo, I got a thousand dollar day and I'm, this is amazing. And I love this and all of this thing. And I, I'm going to go do the work, but we don't do all the other things that go along with it. We don't do the marketing stuff. We don't do the Facebook Live when we get there. We don't do the Facebook Live when we're done. We don't get our pictures. We don't get our after pictures. We don't get our before pictures. Because that's stupid, Jason. That's all dumb stuff. Well, you know, all that dumb stuff that about getting your pictures is the most important part you can do of the whole job. Getting that five-star review. Getting that, five, getting that customer in order to give us a video testimonial. But Jason, that's stupid. That's stupid. No, that's what sets you apart. That's what makes you good. That's what that's what grows your business. That's what gets you to the six um, figures. And that's what we need to be confident that we can be so confident that that is what we're doing. And so if we aren't confident in that, it's hard for them to be confident in it. And because, you know, when we get a house wash, it's not about that house. It's about the next 10 houses that we can get from it. You know, you never know what pictures is going to be worth a million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. You don't know what picture is going to be worth that. Now, I'll tell you what pictures aren't going to be worth that. The pictures you didn't take. Those pictures aren't going to be worth about zero. The pictures you didn't take are about zero dollars. That's how much they're worth. Um, so we get, that's why we want to take pictures. That's why we're doing the marketing. And then we're going to follow up. Even after we're done, hey, Miss Jones, I was just seeing how your house wash went. And is there anything I can help? You know, is there anything that you're not happy with? No, it looks amazing. Awesome. We give us a review. And then we're going to follow up again. We're going to follow up six months down the road, eight months down the road, a year down the road, two years down the road. Yes, we're going to follow up for two, three years. Because in, 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 in year one, after year one, we're not just going to send them an email. We're going to pick up the phone and call them. We're going to send a text. We're going to do a voice text. We're going to do a mass text. Why are we doing this? Because it's about growing our pressure washing business, growing any type of business, service business. It don't matter what type of business it is. This is what we got to do to make sure that we're growing our business. And it is a system. And it's not, you know, I know it said simple system. But at the end, it is a pretty complex system. There's a lot of steps to it. It's not just the 26 steps to the house wash. That's only 26 steps. Actually, I need to put something together that's all the steps uh, from the phone call to the end. It's probably be 100 steps, um, the 100 step system. You know, if we start going, um, if we start growing our business and we start adding employees, now we got to add another step. We got to add those videos. We got to do those things and make sure that they can sit down. Um, but yes, you have to make sure that you can do this. All right, I'm going to get on here. And, um, 
I'm going to go through some questions. So if, ask whoever was asking about roof cleaning. Um, I know I told you to ask, but let me know what your roof questions are. Um, let's see. Who is the guy you mentioned on LinkedIn recently? Um, Gregory, Benjamin Gregory is his name. Great day, everyone. Another great week and a start. I just started bandit signs. That's new to me. I like them best in yard signs for now just because they're already getting pulled. You know, Facebook Live is something I need to get to. And it's not an easy thing. And it's, it's practice, 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 practice. And you'll get better at it. Just do it and take action, and you will get better at it. Anyone use Northstar softwash system? It's not really worth it. I'm actually going to have a video coming out in about a, maybe, I don't know if it'll be this week or next. Um, I got to get the parts list up for it because I want to make sure the whole parts list and I show how to make one that's a lot better than that for under 500 bucks. Um, I want to get started, but don't have that much capital. Then start marketing. You can do um, your Google My Business. Doesn't cost a thing. You can do um, Facebook. Doesn't cost a thing. And no, I'm not saying go buy equipment. What I'm saying is, is get jobs and rent equipment if you have to. If you have to rent it for a day and you make you get two, three jobs and you go rent equipment and now you're ready to rock and roll. Um, don't think that you got to buy equipment. A lot of people get in the habit of, I got to buy all this equipment. I'd rather you rent a little bit and make, you know, five, ten grand. And yes, you can make it by renting your equipment. And then you can go buy a decent setup. You know, you go spend a thousand dollars on a piece of crap pressure washer, 2.3 pressure washer. It's not, you're, you just piss, pissed a thousand bucks away that, you know, is only going to get you so far. I charge a minimum of 20 cents per square foot or 350 for a house wash in North Carolina and still people think my prices are too high. I keep trying to remind myself they aren't my customers. I'm very frustrated and wisdom. Yeah, find the people you're looking at the wrong people. You found the wrong people for house washes. You got to find the right people for house washing. Um, you know, we're not looking for the poor people. We're not looking for the cheap people. We want the pre we want people that will pay it. Um, what up? Mr. Gutter Cleaning Contractors. Um, we seem to be like in a lot of thumbs up here. For, for you. Um, how busy are you right now? Hot Lips Outdoors. I started two weeks ago and haven't been pushing like crazy because of my regular job. But when I have approached someone, they have bit on my services. It's part of it. Ask. You got to ask people. You know, and if you aren't you got to go, you know, if you aren't busy and you, especially if you don't have a job, other full-time job, go flip rocks, go knock on doors and go, go knock on business doors, go find those businesses that you can knock on. Them are the businesses that you need to look at. You know, those are the people that, you know, you need to be hitting on. And so that's where you need to go at. Squeaky wheel gets the most grease. That is true. Um, okay. Who gave the thumbs down? Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, I post in over 35 groups in Facebook a day. Um, what should work, but yeah, I'm more concerned about the minimum and max PSI and where my machine lands in between. It's not about PSI. It's about GPM gallons per minute. I answer questions. What's up? Practice all your pitches. Um, I've been in sales and marketing and scaling training from Grant Cardone all weekend. How is that? I've actually heard somebody else tell me about it, um, Nathan. Um, I was actually going to look into it. I haven't done it yet, but I actually had somebody else tell me about it. I'm great at winning friends and influencing people. That's a great book. If you haven't read that book, you should go read it. Hey, Jason, could you rank in order what you would do for marketing? GMB first, a good website, 
I got lost in WordPress trying to learn Eliminator plugin for SEO. So the very first thing I would do is is Google my business. Um, that would be the very first thing. You don't need some big extraordinary website. A simple landing page will work in the beginning. Um, so I would do my Google my business. Then I would pick, uh, you know, whether I'm going to do signs. Um, you know, if you're going to do, if you're going down the free route, you know, pick one. Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, you can pick them both, but usually when you try to do two things, nothing happens. So pick one and get good at it. And then once you get good at that one, then go to the next one. Um, Facebook is one of those that you do have to post. It isn't one of those that ah, I'm going to post today and ah, I'm going to post next week. If you're going to get zero results. So you got to make sure that you're posting a lot. Um, so that is something that is very important um, there. So. Um, LinkedIn is nice, but it's not going to get you work right out of the get-go. LinkedIn is your long-term goal. LinkedIn is you start posting three, four times a week, and you do the and you um, go in there and you um, start networking with people and that. And over time, that will blow up. It's not going to happen overnight, though. Facebook, you can get work right away. A lot of times, it goes back to having confidence, one hundred percent. Most pressure washer surface cleaner can handle a thousand psi to four thousand. Um, you're a lot more confident if you act like you know what you're talking about. <coughs> that is true. That is true. Thanks for choosing Lawn Commander. How can I help you? Um, tell them your name. You know, hey, thank you. Uh, because they're talking to a person. We're not talking to a company. We're talking to people to people. Um, so be a person. Hey, I am Jason Guyman, or I am Jason um, with Pressure Wash Help. How may I help you today? You know, we're, we're talking about a person, person to person. Um, I'm going to be starting my pressure washing business very soon. Just do it. Go for it. Take action is what I'm going to tell you. Um, I'm really bad about talking, taking my after photos. That's something you got to do. You got to, you know, that's why I teach of the checklist. You take that checklist and you make sure that you hit that checklist every time. Um, even if you got a, even if it's just a checklist that is a laminated. So you make sure you do that every time that checklist. I like to re-examine and refresh the way I approach customers during the job about conversation and check what's improving. Yep. Um, I clean the store roof, sidewalk, and gasway pump. Um, surface cleaning, SH or no SH when doing a driveway. I realize it's um, if it's real dirty, treat with SH, but what if it's not terrible? And then don't use SH. Um, I don't, I didn't use SH a lot of times. A lot of times I just cleaned it and then I came back and hit it with SH sometimes. Um, it's all about confidence. You must have the confidence when you live, when you're live. Yes. Uh, I will be. I will be waiting for the vid. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. I will try to get it out. Um, I got it made and I got the thumbnail made, but I got to get the list of all, everything written down and I'm going to make it. So it's kind of that way for gas roof pump. Will a gun with a quarter inch output be too much back pressure? It should not be. Mr. Lee Wallace. I haven't seen you around in a while, dude. How you doing? Um, I do the same to the wild, wild west. Thanks, but my channel is weak right now. Uh, what do you think of Mike Andes from Landscape Web Design? He was at the expo with Augusta Lawn Care. His all-inclusive website development, SEO, and maintenance package is $3.99. Should I use his service? Um, I don't know how well he's going to do with pressure washing. And I did get a picture with Mike. I actually met Mike there, and I got a picture with him. He's a lot shorter than I thought he was. Um, he's pretty short. <laughs> I actually posted it on this YouTube channel, so if you go check out some of my on my YouTube, you'll see him there under the community tab. <laughs> but he's pretty short. Um, backpack sprayer and customer hose the rent. Yeah, be careful with a backpack uh, sprayer. 
you can get that stuff on your back and that's not good. Best place to buy a soft wash system. Um, I can sell you this soft wash system right here for $12,000. And it will, and it's an eight gallon a minute, the whole nine yards. Um, if you're just looking for like the box, I would look at either Sean, um, Sean's or Jimmy Hall's. Jimmy Hall's actually got a nice box. I don't know how much he's selling those for, Lee, but um, he's got a nice gig going on there too. Um, but they're in that box. I would, like I said, I would either check out Sean Hodges from Ar um, Arkansas Soft Wash or Jimmy Hall. I don't know what Jimmy Hall's calling himself. Um, think I could get by doing roofs with a modified X Gen with a J Rod or two dangerous. Nah, it's too much flow. You can do a roof cleaning with an X jet, but and then just throttle it down. I mean, it, it can work. Uh, I don't know if olic acid would remove aluminum oxidation off a of brick. You've got to use a stronger acid for it. You probably need either F9 or One Restore or aluminum brightener but be careful with aluminum brightener <clears throat> i got the 10x boot camp it was 297 it was worth 10 to 10 thousand in knowledge for me so much info on everything send me uh, send, I, i'll have to look that up i've actually seen somebody else tell somebody else told me to do it too and i haven't done it yet jason can you help us with the free pressure wash help can you help us with any free pressure washing help? Yeah, pressurewashhelp.com slash free. You get 30 days free. That is right here. <coughs> oh, right there. Um, you have a new sub too. Um, I have Google My Business, but I don't know what to do with it or how to use it. My website is scheduled to launch next Friday. Go to pressurewashhelp.com slash free and I got about... 10 or 15 videos outlining what you need to do in there. Um, so I do lawn mowing right now and want to really dive into soft washing next year. Any advice on how to manage both types of businesses? Might hire two people to take care of the lawn business so I can soft wash. Yeah, um, soft washing is going to be a lot more profitable for you. Most of the people that I know that start soft washing quit the landscape because there's more money into that. Or in a, and then in the lawn care. Jason, can you hit an actually hourly income compared to time on the gun? $300 an hour on the gun isn't the same as total time invested. Also, what is a normal per customer acquisition time frame? Can you hit an actually hourly income compared to time on the gun? That's hard. Um, because, I mean, like me right now, even before I started doing this, you know, I worked a lot. Um, you know, as an entrepreneur, it's not like you only work 40 hours. Uh, I mean, I still work a crap ton of hours of trying to get videos and helping people and Zooms and, you know, hitting my Voxer back at 10 o'clock at night, you know, so that's kind of you're doing the same thing in pressure watching if you are so to actually hit that per hour I, it would be kind of tough um i guess it wouldn't be um if you took ten thousand dollars and you you if you let's just say if you wanted to do a hundred thousand dollars and in nine months or we'll go eight months because that's easier that's easy or ten months ten months and you want to do a hundred thousand dollars so that'd be ten thousand dollars a month um, so, you know, that would be $2,500 a week. That's $500 a day. You could take 500 and divide that by 10. And now that can kind of give you your hourly rate of that. Um, and your acquisition. Also, what is the normal person custom <coughs> acquisition time frame? Um, you know, usually once they call, it's going to be pretty quick, but now some of them do, you know, you can be 14 days. Our 14 day email got a lot of customers because our 14 day email was basically saying, I know you're waiting for other cust other bids and obviously you haven't gotten any. And so there, um, anybody from California or Florida, I'm sure there's a bunch of people from Florida 
Um, what would be a great soft wash system to start with? I have a North Star, but that would what would be better? Um, again, I'm going to put a video out. I would do either a five and a half, and then um, and then you can do a tank. My script is thank you for calling Big Time Wash Pros. How can I help you? Come clean Big Time. <laughs> Um, how do you go about finding pricing? Um, you have a two, three hundred dollar minimum. I'd probably have a three hundred dollar minimum. You can do anywhere from about twenty to thirty cents a square foot if you're going to do it that way. I just did three hundred dollars was my minimum up to you know thousand fifteen hundred square feet, and then I would add on to that. I would go up from there. For concrete, you can be about thirty cents a square foot, twenty five to thirty cents a square foot. And that'll get you in that pretty good area. Got a specific question. I think I'll start the next year with a helper and train him or her to wash on their own. Any advice? Goal is to take more time to get more jobs. So first thing, I wouldn't hire a helper. I would hire a tech. There's a difference. Um, and so what I mean by that is if you say you're hiring a helper, they will always be a helper. Um, so, And I know it's wording, but wording is important. So I would hire a tech is what I would do because that's what you want them to be is running the truck. And so um, that is definitely what I would hit on. Um, you know, and so that's where, you know, not hiring a helper, but hiring a tech. And, you know, it's not about finding somebody that knows how to pressure wash. You would better, you'd be better off to find somebody at Chick-fil-A or somebody like that that has great customer service. Again, this is a customer service business. This isn't a pressure washing business. This is a customer service business that just so happens to be doing pressure washing, right? So that's why we're wanting to find somebody that has good customer service. Because a lot of times if we find somebody that can pressure wash, they suck at customer service because they know everything and you don't know anything. Especially, Nathan, where you're young. You're going to have to overcome that. Um, so those are some things that you got to look at, Nathan. Um, everyone's shorter than you, Jason. You are right about that. You are right about that. Hi, Jason. Question, should I mix to downstream? Um, you can actually go straight. A lot of people I know go straight just to hit it. Um, I did downstream 50-50, um, so I was only about 0.75 when I was cleaning. I did that so that way if my employees didn't kill stuff. And I also did it because I didn't have a mixing valve, and so that was my roof mix. But I would be a little bit stronger in that now. Um, been building my window cleaning business. Awesome. Helper or employee? Call them tech. Tech in training. Yep, exactly. Um, I think Jimmy Hall is Freedom Softwash. I believe you're right. So Freedom Softwash, he's making some pretty cool boxes that have stuff in there now. Um and if you hire them, hire them as a tech and put them on a W-2, not a 1099. Yep. Um, would you enjoy the boot camp, Jason? You would enjoy the boot camp. Okay. You know what awesome, Nathan, about that? I love that you are um, you're educating yourself. You know, you are spending that 300 bucks to go educate yourself. And you're buying books and you're doing stuff for, you know, the number one thing that a lot of people fail is they don't invest in themselves. The best thing you can do is invest in yourself, you know, and, and, and when you invest in yourself, you will be surprised how that will help you out. You know, and a lot of times, yes, I know you can go buy stuff for free on YouTube and that, but you know what? You don't learn near as much when, in when you put money out of your pocket, it hurts. And that's when you learn the most. Um, and, and, I, and I'm not just saying that to say that. You know, I've I've had free classes and I never did anything with them. I never did nothing. But when I open my pocket and and open my wallet, you'd be surprised. You will start learning because then it hurts a little bit. So, you know, that's what's awesome. You know, and even Nathan. Nathan's young. Nathan's not, you know, Nathan's in his early 20s. And he's going to do big things if he keeps going at it here. Did a house wash with an ATV 20 gallon sprayer unit? Uh, must mix bleach with washing. It works pretty good. Um, do you have a video on what chemicals and when to use them? Yes, I have videos. I don't know if, if they're much out on YouTube. There's a few of them out on YouTube. Uh, most of them are in the membership. 
I tried soft washing Spanish towel roofs, but kept getting black lines in the middle that I have to pressure wash off. Any idea? That's weird. I don't know why that would have done that. What was your mix? Um, I used one cup per gallon in a pump up sprayer. Mr. Mikey Bags from Florida. Um, thoughts on washing RVs, motorhomes? Just be careful because some of those um, RVs and motorhomes can be very expensive. Um, they have very expensive paint jobs and stuff like that. You know, if it's all nice, I wouldn't be going putting SH on it, you know. Um, you, then you're having to two-step and that kind of thing. Are you the guy from Shaun of the Dead? No, I'm not. Um, I wash RVs. I wash RVs. I get the entire park. When adding my first tech, these are a few things I know I need. Insurance for them, SDS sheets, processes. I can't really think of anything else off the top of my head. Um, you're going to need workers' comp. Um, there, At this point, you need to, you'll need you have payroll tax. Um, so it's best if you can find a company that will do the payroll um, because this is something that will get you in jail if you're not careful. Um, so, you know, you got to take out payroll tax on them and the whole nine yards of that crap. So, um, if you do RVs and motorhomes, be careful. Don't drag hose on roofs, edges, or high pressure tips. You can do a lot of damage. Hey, Jason, my son and I listened to Rich Dad Poor Dad on audiobook together last week. Thanks for the recommendation. It's a good book. Get you out of the mindset that you've probably lived in all your life. <laughs> um, four to five percent on tile roofs, yes, or six. Um, I, I don't use SH on motor homes either. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Weak sauce on the clay tile roof, 50 50, six percent. That's what I did. I use 60 60. Um, somebody give me a super chat. Thank you. Um, Casey, I live at a place. That has 585 pool hookups, RV, Cloud9 Ranch. A guy here washes RV, $200 pop. He uses some silly little washer and simple green. I've watched him wash five RVs in two days. Uh, that's a lot. That's not a lot to be five. I think you'd be able to clean them faster than that. Um, business name idea, Cunningham Clean or Clean Crete. What's your opinion? Um... I would probably name my business something with pressure washing in it um, just because it helps with your GMB, your Google My Business. Um, and if you can name the town in it, we even helps your Google My Business more. Now, that is a little hackish, but it works right now. So, pay force. Yeah, pay force is um, that's going back to if you're hiring employees and stuff. Um, been thinking of soft washing setup. He spends so much time doing it. Yeah. Any suggestions for a company? I use Jabba right now for a company. Yeah, that's so. Here's the thing, Nathan. Um, when you're dealing with employees that don't have nothing to do with Jabba, um, it could do a little bit with QuickBooks, but um, it is um, like payroll, um, Paycom, I believe, is one. You can use, um, there's a couple different ones, but what happens is, is they'll, you will give, they'll be like, you give how many hours and then all the price, and then you got to give a check for that, and that way they'll pay all your payroll taxes, they pay all your city taxes, all that kind of stuff will come out of that. Thank you, Gene. Sincerely appreciate y'all. Thanks for keep it up. Thanks for everyone for the post and response. QuickBooks Online, I, yeah, I was just going to say QuickBooks Online may also do payroll too, can do it all for you. Watch 10X by Grant Cardone, that's a good book, I really like that book. Ozark is the best place. Uh, my neighbor has a Tool Pro, 4,000 PSI, 13 horse, I could piss harder than that, yeah. Jason. For a deck cleaning, for a deck cleaning from last week, I'm returning to clean a little better. 
just to make sure the customer recommends me and has a smile about work. A previous video helped me realize this. Yep. Um, thanks, Jason. Thanks, Jason. Um, no, t no one teaches you on these things. No. And, and you know, actually, that's kind of funny because um, I was talking to who was? Oh, I know what I was talking to. I was talking to uh, one of the one of my soccer moms from my daughter's soccer is a pediatrician doctor and she just started her, they she just moved here and so the way they do it here at this new place she has to kind of like run her business and she's like i never learned that in 10 years of college i never learned how to do you know i had to have work about insurance and marketing and you know payroll tax and all these other things that have a business owner that i never realized i needed to do and you know it, you know, when you start growing, these are the things that you got to figure out. And, you know, it's not always easy to figure this stuff out. It doesn't just come natural. You know, when we're trying to grow, you know, and I love that you're trying to grow, Nathan. And it's one of those things that, you know, it isn't easy. There is a lot of stuff. And so this is some things that we have to look at and the things. And, you know, I try to put out as much as I can to help with this, but, you know, at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff that you got to learn. You know, you got to learn about insurance and you got to learn about workers comp and you got to learn about payroll tax. And, you know, when we start growing, it's it's like, man, I want to I want this. But then it's like, man, it's a headache. Now, I'm not saying that you can't do it. I'm just saying it's you got to learn it and don't just get discouraged. It can happen. You know, the, there's amazing, you can do and grow an amazing business. And so these are some things that, you know, you got to do. So give me two more likes to get me to 50 people, 50 likes. I appreciate it. Um, starting with a 2.5 um, Simpson to start out, calling before I walk, main competition, Cody from Southeast, starting courses with Aaron and another guy monthly. Well, that's your first mistake. Oh, did I say that out loud? Um, and you, I wouldn't have to worry about Cody. Um, do you like the vehicles to be wrapped in vinyl or other materials for marketing? I never did, um, any wrap. Um, I know you can, and it, you can get business off of it. Um, I did have one truck that, um, I did have one truck that, um, I did have, but over the four years, I never did. And I want to hit on this one question here of David Watts of hitting of somebody else you know here's the thing i've done what i've said i've done i've done over a million dollars all these guys at it together barely have done a million dollars and that's the only thing i'm going to say about that um so go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash free um vinyl wrap yes big and bold but on, on another thing on a vinyl wrap don't you know it's kind of like yard signs. I've seen some vinyl wraps that, you know, they got 50 things on a, in a 10 pound bag, you know, pick one or two services that is big and that's all you need. And yes, you're right. Act. You don't need a wrap. You can do away with, you know, just some lettering. And a lot of times you can get that for fa fairly reasonable price. So definitely three jobs canceled last week. I have no idea. So weird. Um, some things that can overbat this is, um, taking a deposit, even a twenty-five, fifty-dollar non-deposit, um, non-deposit, a non-refundable deposit can help with this right here. So if you're having an issue with this here with cancellation, ask for a non, you know, to get on the schedule. We need a fifty-dollar non-refundable deposit, and people pay it, and that way that keeps that from happening. Um. Yeah, and, and a lot of times you can get a partial wrap and it, it'll cut down the price quite a bit. Um, I got big signs with before and after signs on my trailer. I've got four times the X returns on that. Awesome. All right, guys. So, again, you can go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash free. Um, tomorrow I will be having Marketing Monday. Again, I'm going to be talking about email marketing um, for the month of November of how to get commercial customers 
through email marketing um, and so I'm gonna hit on that um, starting tomorrow night that starts at 9 o'clock um, if you want to go check out the first four you can go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash free and that'll get you in the first four marketing Mondays also through this I do a every other Sunday night which tonight was one so if you join you'll get two of those um, of the, there so go check out pressurewashhelp.com slash free um, also um, I, tomorrow night is um, I do Christmas lights um, I do a live I'm gonna be live with a dude that's done very well with Christmas lights um, and um, Patrick Walker is his name and so if you want to hear that live interview you can go to um, YouTube and search Christmas lights or Christmas lights help and you will find that channel there Jason quick question what chemical did you use on the wall behind you um, I use this chemical called green screen. <laughs> um, oh, I need email marketing. Email marketing works great. I did a lot of a lot of business through email marketing. So um, that's what I'll be hitting on this month. And I'm gonna go in depth, hitting on subject lines, some you know, one you know, email marketing isn't one of those sexy things that you think about, but email marketing works very well. So um, go check that out and I'll see you tomorrow night if you're there. Have a great night, guys.